Parents connected to Lundy Elementary School up on Mount Charleston are not backing down. They say they will continue to fight to reopen the school, and now some lawmakers have joined their effort. Good evening, everyone. Glad you're with us at 6. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm LaToya Silman. Last month, CCSD recommended permanently closing that school after Tropical Storm Hillary damaged the building. Crisis in the Classroom investigative reporter Tiffany Lane spoke with local and state lawmakers who say this decision is being rushed when there are solutions. Yeah, that's correct. District leaders in a presentation earlier this month said rebuilding costs would be around five and a half to six and a half million dollars with insurance able to cover about one and a half million. And while some lawmakers don't believe the cost is what's leading the efforts to close, they say there are still ways to help come up with that money. I think we ought to be engaged in conversations on how we can help rebuild that school. Like community members on Mount Charleston, lawmakers are also wanting more answers as to why the Clark County School District is pushing to close Lundy Elementary School. It's a, a really important asset. The school was only supposed to be temporarily shut down 10 months ago following damages from Tropical Storm Hillary. But in May, after months of not receiving answers, parents received a letter with a recommendation to shut down for good. The district citing rebuilding costs as the reason. Clark County Commission Chairman Tick Sagerbloom spoke up about his concerns during a county commission meeting earlier this month. He also spoke with the interim superintendent, Dr. Brenda Larson Mitchell, directly and says he was told the decision to close had to do with low enrollment numbers. I met with the, uh, the acting superintendent. Uh, that's where, where she told me that you know, there's only like five uh, elementary school kids that are going there now. But Sager Bloom says advocates on the mountain say the numbers are skewed since several students left the district with hopes they could return once Lundy reopened. I think need, more needs to be done as far as understanding that what the potential application pool is. He believes the district has been trying to close Lundy down for a while. They've been wanting to shut that school down for years and they're just using this as an excuse. Sager Bloom says the county commission could possibly help prevent this. If we have a public purpose to it, there's no reason we could at least consider putting money in there. And that's why I'm saying is that they've made this decision unilaterally without reaching out to us to see is there something we could use the building for. Nevada Assemblywoman Shannon Bilbray Axelrod also getting involved in the fight. She sent this letter to the interim superintendent calling the situation completely unacceptable. Since August, students have been bused to Indian Springs Elementary School, the school they would have to permanently attend if Lundy does close. It's an hour and a half each way. I mean, in the in the meantime, before we figure this out, there's two schools right at the bottom of the hill, Bilbray and Schirkenbach. But then, according to the district, the students would not get busing. Bilbray Axelrod, who is chair of the Legislative Joint Interim Standing Committee on Education, says she's hoping to hear from the district during their Thursday meeting. This is one week before the CCSC School Board of Trustees takes their official vote on Lundy's future. I think we kind of know w the way the vote's going from what I hear. So, um, you know, the CCSD has not been great. Uh, the school board has not been great with the legislature. As you know, we had to take them to court uh, on the issue with the um, appointed trustees. She says regardless of the decision, her committee will meet in July and then take more steps towards change in the 2025 legislative session if needed. It's a money issue, and so the money comes from the state. So we could go back and revisit that. Well, I have reached out to CCSD for comment, and I'm waiting to hear back. But, of course, we'll have more updates from that official June 27th meeting. Now, send me your tips on issues impacting our schools, including this one. Whether you're a student, school, uh, employee, parent, or a concerned community member, you can scan that QR code on your screen or email schooltips at news3lv.com. You can also call 702-805-0489. A lot of people ramping up their thoughts, trying to get out there before that official decision is made next week.